Okay, hello everyone. My name is Andrea C. Today is September the 12th, 2020, and this is floss tube number 47. <laughs> <laughs> I did just record uh, floss tube number 46, which was life updates and finishes that I've had since my last video back in May. In this video, I'm going to share with you uh, the projects that I worked on in May, June, July, and August that I did not finish. Um, and I'm also going to share with you some things that I have received in the mail. So let's get to it, shall we? The first project I'd like to share with you is this one. Uh, it's a new start that I had. It's from this booklet from Stony Creek Magazine. And if you remember, I stitched this mountain lion out of this book and I decided to stitch the fox that's in this booklet. Here is kind of what it will look like when it's done. Now I'm stitching this for my little one, Brandon. I, I say little one, it's because he's my youngest and he's nine years old. I believe that I got this book when he was five and he has loved this little fox ever since I got this book. So I am stitching this for him. It is on, oh my goodness, let me, out. oh, sorry about that. Okay, with my little fox needle minder that I got from Otterly in X Stitches. And I started on the fox. This is this is the fox's tail. This is his back leg and his bottom coming up into the top of his back. Okay. This is stitch on Thornhaven from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I believe it's a 28 count Lugana. So there is that. The way that I am doing things now is for every two finishes, I get a new start. So I've, I finished Good Neighbors in Damask Roses, which justified the start that I had on Leap Day when I started the Dimensions Gold Collection Kit Mare and Full. And then I finished Courageous and Strong and I am a Needlesmith, which justified this start. So for every two finishes, I get a new start. And that is what I chose to start. Okay, so the next project I would like to share with you is Daybreak. And let me get it out of its, I'm sorry, this might be a little loud. It's called Daybreak. It's a heaven and earth designs artwork by Andy Russell. I usually pull this out at the beginning of every July. And this year was no exception. And uh, give me one second while I get it out of the package. I'm sorry, I should have been more pre prepared with this. All right, so here is where I have gotten to. Okay, so all of this is new. I am using the Pattern Keeper app for this, which is saving me so much time. I'm able to stitch so much more than um, I was able to before. So I got most of the top of the big tree done and moving, did a lot of sky, mountain in the distance. So there's that. If you look, see so see the big tree and the mountains in the distance that's what this is so I still have half of half of this tree the bottom half of this tree to do and everything else all right so there is daybreak okay All right, and the next project I would like to share with you is Tuscany. It is a realist kit. I 
don't have the realist box with me uh, the kit came in a box and I usually show you the the front of the box I forgot to bring that over here with me but you've seen it before I'm pretty sure you know what it looks like and if you don't go to video number 45 okay so here I am so as you can see I made a lot of progress since the last time you've seen this I got most of all of this done so I'm very happy very happy with how this is turning out all those beautiful greens and reds oh it just makes me so happy working with those colors okay so that's Tuscany and let's see the next thing I would like to share with you is Sunflower Farm Sunflower Farm by Corey Corey I think I'm pronouncing that correctly this is kind of what this is what it will look like when it's done there's the name of the designer it's sunflowers farm but I say sunflower farm okay and I am stitching it on the, the called for fabric which is a summer khaki 32 count linen and I started this I began working on this again at the beginning of August shortly uh, before we got Chloe and I was able to so here's the house and here's this is basically all that I was able to do in the time that I worked on this in August so here it is all together so far very very nice very bright colorful colors very enjoyable to work on I'm sorry if I'm forgetting the details I feel like I'm rushing because my husband and son are on their way home from what some things that they had to do and I want to get this done before they get home all right so the last project I would like to share with you that I worked on is um, another heaven and earth designs quick stitch blue butterfly this is currently my oldest project I believe I started this in May of 2016 and here it is so far so I am using the pattern keeper app on this and I am parking um, instead of doing the stair step method with this like I was doing I am now stitching across in rows uh, 10 by 10 squares moving down with the parking and that's really working very well for me I'm hoping to have this done maybe maybe either this sometime this year or at the beginning of next year all right so that is it for the stitching um, then now I'd like to share you some things that I've received in the mail uh, I did get I won a giveaway from Diana it is kismet who I absolutely love and adore I won a giveaway from her and so she sent me the blue flower summer squirrel so thank you Diana for sending this to me I really appreciate it and she did send me a beautiful skein of floss from Victoria Motto sampler shop it was a, a beautiful blue and I've already put it away so I'm not going to be able to show that to you but she also sent me this fantastic needle holder thing and I already have some needles in here so thank you so much Diana for sending that to me I love this so much okay another thing that I received in the mail is some charts 
are some charts. I got um, from Blackbird Designs the Garden Club series number seven, Climbing the Trellis, and I would like to somehow stitch these on linen and fray, intentionally fray the fabric in a way that they would be really pretty bookmarkers, bookmarks. So that's my intent with this one. I got Music Among Amongst the Trees from Rosewood Manor. You can read the quote there. I've loved this one for so long. I'm so happy to finally have it. And I finally got my first Kathy Barrick. Gerald. Now, out of I believe that she has a series of of bird charts that she named for her brothers, and this one was my favorite. So I had to get it. I love this with that beautiful those beautiful leaves and the the orange and the bird. I just love this. I'm so happy to have it. And I have all of the floss. I, I purchased a chart on from Busby Designs, who is the same designer that did the Plague Doctor and the McKenna Plague Doctor. Remember in the video that I made, I think back in May, I showed you this beautiful gray fabric and I said that I would love to stitch some kind of a black raven or a black crow on it. And I was looking for a design. Well, I'm going to put a link to this design down below in the description box. But I finally have all of the threads that I'm going to use. Interestingly, none of it, none of it is black. It's all in like 939 and a whole bunch of grays. And it's going to be so perfect on that fabric. Um, so I'm happy about that. That'll be a, a new start coming up sometime in the future. And I received a package in the mail from my friend, Lisa. She is on Instagram as, I believe, the Modern Stitcher or Lisa the Modern Stitcher, the Modern Stitcher, Modern Stitcher, I don't remember, but I met her in Virginia at the, the Stitch Fest at the retreat. And she reached out to me and offered to send me some fabric. And I offered to pay for the fabric and she didn't really want me, she just wanted me to pay for shipping. So I said, okay, I'll pay for shipping. I ended up sending her more money later on through PayPal. Um, but she sent me a package of so many of the most gorgeous fabrics that I have put away and you will see them as I begin new projects. I will show these fabrics to you. I want to say to Lisa, thank you so much for all of those fabrics. She also sent me some three skeins of Victoria sampler shop threads like two greens and a and a different color maybe a like a red or a pink or something I don't remember or brown yeah two greens and a brown gorgeous gorgeous and she also sent me this clay by Kim needle minder look at this okay there's the back clay by Kim needle minder I'm so fun happy to finally have a clay by Kim needle minder so Lisa, thank you so much for everything that you sent to me in that package. I really, really, really appreciate it. I've shown you everything. In my previous video, I showed you the finishes that I had uh, for the past several months. And I also shared with you life updates. In this video, I showed you the things that I've been working on and things that I've added to my stash. Next month in October, I am going to be recording a video that will be a celebration of five years on floss tube. I made my first floss tube video October 13th, 2015. So next month will be my five year floss tube anniversary. 
and I want to do something very special for all of you who um, have been subscribed to me or who have subscribed to me. This will be a subscriber event only. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I will be checking. I know how to do that. I'm going to have some really fantastic giveaways. So keep on the lookout for me posting a video sometime in October. Let me see if I can get Chloe to come over. Chloe! No, she's not going to come over. Uh, you'll have to see her next time, or you can check out my Instagram page. I think that that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, goodbye.